<clears throat> What's up, all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net, and welcome to my channel. I'm coming out live from Las Vegas, Nevada, in my little craft room here. And today I'm going to be making some embellishments from all these scraps that I've been using. Um, this scrapbook paper I've been using, um, I've pretty much used it all. Actually, let me, where's my ruler? Okay, I don't know where my ruler is, so I'm pulling out a measuring tape. Cat, what's up, girlfriend? I want to see if this is enough to print on. This is eight, not eight and a half. But these I might be able to print on, so I'm not going to use these big pieces. I might, might, might be able to print on those, but I definitely have a lot of smaller pieces that I definitely cannot print on. So we'll be using those as well. Just moving off the big, big pieces off to the side. And I have all sorts of different sizes. And I'm also going to be using some glitter paper because y'all know I love glitter paper. And uh, the paper pad for this, if you guys wanted to know, is the Poppies and Pines from Hobby Lobby. And this is from Paper Studio, which I believe is their brand. So I still have a few uh, full sheets of that that I'll be working with later on. I usually print on the back of it. But uh, for now, we are going to be making embellishments, and I'm hoping to do stamp embellishment so hopefully that goes well for me uh you just came home nice um so i'm excited and I'm, i also have some really cute uh ledger paper that's coffee dye that's in my shop if you guys want to check it out um but i guess i used some for my own uh journals sorry about my nose of course and i'm going to be using my we are memory keepers um mini scoreboard and I just like this to use as a straight edge because I don't like things I don't like things to look perfectly straight but I don't want them to look um crooked or too messed up I couldn't exactly get the kind of straightness that I would want so let me start off with just these couple of scraps here of this glitter paper and I'm just going to tear off strips and usually I like them to be about an inch wide. So I'm just gonna cut these into strip or like nearly an inch wide. You can also play with the widths. I love this sparkly paper. Hey Gigi and Judy's here and Jasmine. What's up, girl? What's up, everybody? I'm so happy everybody's here. I'm so happy because I'm using glue paper. <laughs> Okay, okay, so that's enough of that till I want to use some more of it. Oh my god, there's so much paper here. It's not even funny. I have so many scraps to use up. Uh, I'm going to have scraps for the next couple Christmases to work with. Okay, so I have this. And I just like to work with sections of it. I don't know if it's going to rip exactly because it has been baked and it makes the paper more brittle when it comes to ripping. But it should be okay. <clears throat> I'm just trying to make a couple of strips. Oh my goodness, you guys. My little California distraction was fun. <laughs> what kind of embellishments are you making? I'm hoping to use the scraps of these ledger papers, glitter papers, and Christmas papers. And I'm hoping to make some embellishments for stamps but first i like to start off by making strips for this particular type of embellishments i make a lot of strips and then i kind of layer the stamp on top it's kind of how i go about it there's so many papers though i don't want to just spend all the all day just cutting up one of the papers so trying to get a bunch and michael said this was red this is not red this is a hot pink <laughs> i'm kind of mad days i bought that paper pad from hobby lobby i hope to use it you should it's a great paper pad i love it i like that i like to print on the back of it and um I, this is the first set of embellishments i actually make with it i've just been kind of um printing on the back of it <laughs> Uh, but this should be fun. 
Okay, so let me get this here, just the edges of that. I still have some like paper here that's uh, in strips, so that'll work for now. Just gonna pull that bunch out. A lot of strips, a lot of strips. Okay, so let me get some of this blue and I'm gonna get some of the silver as well. Gotta use glitter paper. Okay, I hope everybody had a good weekend. I had a lovely time hanging out with Rhonda. And I also got to see my family just for a brief moment. I do have family out there where Rhonda lives. It's my hometown actually. So I go back from time to time. It's been a while, but I do go back <laughs> from time to time. I think I went back in like April or something like that in May. I went back this year though. And then I'm gonna go back actually this weekend. I'm going back to Cali with my husband and we'll be attending some events with him. Um, and then I'm also hoping to go see my family as well. Okay, so here's my glitter paper. Now, I only did a little bit of the scrap of paper because I have more strips over here. So that's what we got to work with. So let me show you what we're going to be doing. Because right now, so far, all I've made is strips. <laughs> so let me move the scrap of paper pieces. I really need to put them in a bag. Hang on. Let me put them in a bag in here. It is really only Christmas time, the time that I use glitter. I should use it all the time, but <clears throat> it's more of a Christmas thing to me, the way I see it. Okay, so I pulled out the bigger pieces and I'm putting those away. And we're grabbing the true scraps of the scraps, which are all the strips that I've made. Of course, I might need more glitter paper, but we'll get to that point in a minute. We'll get there when we get there. And I have my sewing machine loaded up with black thread. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jasmine said, I just ordered sugar and sparkle paper pad. I'm extremely excited for a pink Christmas theme. How cute. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to use a little bit of ledger paper. And let's use some of this scrapbook paper. And I'm just going to sew these together. And I'm just going to use a zigzag stitch, actually. And I'm using my sewing machine, which is what I always use. It is the Brothers uh, Project Runway Limited Edition CE1125PRW. That's what I always use. And again, I'm using black thread. So a zigzag stitch, um, a little bit longer than normal. I think it's too close also, so we need to make it a little bit wider as well. Of course, it doesn't have to be perfect by any means. You're sewing, but and you could always just glue these together, but I really prefer to, um, I prefer to use my sewing machine. So I think I'm going to use a sparkly blue. And I think I'm trying to decide what side I need. I want to put it on this side or the other side. I guess this side is cute. So we're going to put these together here. Okay, now Normally, I cut all the papers the same length as well, but of course here I did not, so we're just going to cut them even. And then here I have another little piece to include in, another, in the next collage. Okay, so now I have this right here. And what I like to do is cut them in about one inch pieces. because I'm dealing with stamps, so they're really, really tiny. So now that I have those four little pieces, now I'll grab a stamp.
And I think I'm just gonna, I, would, I don't wanna sew that on because that's just gonna rip actually. <laughs> that will just rip. So let me find a glue stick actually. Let me do this. Let me find some space on my table. Okay. <laughs> so let me get down here so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I have these little pieces here. And I'm going to get my glue stick. Rhonda, hey girl. How is your day today? Oh, okay. Right there. And that stamp will go right here. And that's my little stamp embellishment for that. Oh, I could have also attached a piece of lace. It might have been cute with a piece of, hang on, let me see. I just got this idea maybe for the next one. I do have um, pieces of lace. Let me grab a piece. For the next one, we'll do it on the next one. <laughs> okay, so let me, actually, let me try. Okay, so I'm going to get this piece of lace here. And it is so high. <laughs> Oh no, I was laughing until I saw that you said I was on fire. That sucks. Sorry, I'm terrible. Okay, let's do that. Let me see how that would look. I might like that with a little piece of lace. Grab like the biggest stamps ever. I know I have smaller stamps. I'm trying to get kind of Christmassy colors. Here's another one of the same stamp I used over here, actually. This would look cute right here. Actually, ooh, that would look cute. That would be adorable. So I'm gonna do this one. Ooh, I like the lace. So let me go ahead and add lace to the rest of them. Because now I'm loving it. Now I want to add lace to all of them. And that's all the ones I made. Okay. Okay, so then this will be right here. Then we got the two little pieces of lace, and then I gotta um, glue this one on here so it's good over here. <laughs> so you can see what I'm doing because I have piles of stuff everywhere right now. Piles and piles and piles. So I almost grabbed a chapstick, but I need my glue stick, not my chapstick. Let's get some glue here. And I'm using the glue stick because um, I don't want them to get wet. And so I'm using the glue stick so that they don't get wet with the glue. And it's just a lot easier to use because they're so delicate. Okay, so let's get, I have two more to do. I have two more stamps that I need. You tend to hoard, look at all this. Right, I was like, I'll just fix everybody's problem right now, girl, and I'll just put this on the lips. <laughs> Try to use Christmassy colors, so that's my only criteria for the stamps right now. And that they, I guess, not be too big. They gotta fit within kind of like the frames that I've made here. It doesn't exactly scream Christmas, but hey got glitter and some of them are going to have more Christmassy looking um, scrapbook papers that I've chosen. Let's do this one. I've almost done that one time, I remember. Traumatizing. <laughs> I always put chopstick, I mean glue on my lips. <laughs> Trauma. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, okay. Green. That would be cute. It's too green. I got this bag of stamps on eBay, you guys. If you guys need a big old bag of stamps, look up a uh, stamp lot on eBay. Stamp lot, vintage stamp lot, postage stamp lot, L-O-T lot. You'll be able to find these big old stashes of uh, stamps. So that's my first set right there. You can see. They're pretty big. But the stamps are pretty big as well. So I wanted to go along with that. So about an inch, uh, I guess, inch and a quarter uh, tall. Okay, so let's go on with the next set. And I also have other things that I could do, like these little advertisements or these little photographs. I could do with those as well. So let's see what I come up with uh, next. So I like, I really like this light brown gold color situation going on here. I think it's gorgeous. And, ooh, I kind of want to use it with these, like, gift. It looks like gifts. Ooh, that's cute. So let's sew these together first. And we'll figure out what we'll do next. The next strip. <laughs> This would look fabulous right there. Fabulous. <laughs> you guys are silly. And then here I have a weird looking little collage, which I'll, I'll use. It's just a weird looking little piece that ends up. <laughs> and we're going to get about two of them out of this one. Okay. And let's see if we can sew some lace on here. Just to top it off. <laughs> just to top it off slightly. In case it wasn't enough. <laughs> Should be enough for this one as well. Yeah, because I'm gonna put them this way. Okay. So now I have these two pieces that came out of that. And then this weird little one, which I'm still going to use. Just got to find the right stamp for it. It's got to be small. <laughs> it's a little goat. <laughs> I don't know about that, but it's cute. Agricultural. Mm. I like that color. It needs to be something else that pops more a little bit. Ooh, look at this pretty bird. That won't fit there, but it'll fit here. That is just gorgeous with that little bird. Okay. I'm living for it. I'm living for it. Let's see what it, oh, this dark blue. I think it's George Washington. He would look kind of cute there, actually. Dark blue would kind of stand out. So let me put that aside. So that'll be cute. I gotta deal with this one. I gotta deal with this. And Naval Aviation, United States Postage. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, so and I got all my little stamps to match. I got too many scraps to work with, but we're we're trucking along here. I'm using my little glue stick. Okay, that'll go, I think I want to put it right here in this little corner. 
then I have this really pretty bird stamp to add. Again, not strictly Christmas, but I am using the Christmassy background colors. So it kind of forces it to be Christmassy. <laughs> Forces it a little bit to be Christmassy. Okay. Okay, so that'll go there. So I got these three stamps that I got out of that one little scrap thing that I made. So those look cute. So let's put those aside. Okay. So next. Let's go back to using this little piece of ledger paper. Oh, and this is cute. This ho, ho, ho. But you can't really see it. This is cute. Let me get a little piece of this. So these two together. <clears throat> Excuse my throat. I think I've been sleeping. It's too cold in the room where I sleep. So I need to turn on the heater now. <laughs> glitter. Gold might look cute with this. A little bit of gold. Okay, let's put the gold on this side then. It was such a nice day today. Um, I went to breakfast with Rick this morning. That was lovely. He's bummed. <laughs> He's bummed. Oh, I didn't, didn't do this one. He's bummed that I didn't, um, that I'm moving out. <laughs> He's really bummed about it. Again, cut it about one inch. Increments. I want to get a bunch of the stamp ones made, and then I'm going to switch over to doing something else. So let me finish this. Oh, with the lace. I'm liking that. I the lace. Let me grab another type of lace. I have different types of lace, lucky me, that I can use. This one's adorable. Don't know exactly how much of it you're going to see, <laughs> since it's only one inch increments here. I'm just going to kind of like sew these on to the ribbon into the lace. Once I finish one, I'll put the next one on. Judy. Okay, so this is what we've made now. This is the thing that we <laughs> that I put together. I have to cut it on some of them to get the lace a little bit closer. I need new scissors. Oh my god, how long have I been saying that? Like the whole year, I think. <laughs> That I've been saying all years. I need to buy new scissors. I need to buy new scissors. I need to buy new scissors. So there goes that. Just cutting off the excess lace. I mean, I don't have to, but I kind of want to make it a little bit even. Kind of like hack it. Okay. 
Okay, okay, so we have our little pieces here. <laughs> Try to find space. Try to find some space. Okay. Get some water. I'm thirsty. Emily, hello. My shock machine turned off. No. <sighs> okay. So we do these. This will be the last batch of stamps, and then we'll move on to something else. Another one of those stamps. Maybe I'll put it on this one. That'll be cute. Okay. Just pulling them out and then I just look at them and see what colors they are. And that is an interesting stamp. I like it. There's all sorts of stamps in here. Gigi, what desert do you live in, Gigi? Oh, this is cute. I mean, I don't know how cute it is. It looks like a bunch of fire, but I like the way it looks on here. Yeah, I'm digging that. That's cute. U.S. homemakers. No, it doesn't stand out very well. These are too small. This look at this huge stamp. I love it. I can't wait to use it. I haven't used it yet, but this one's a uh, great stamp. Palm Springs, nice. Oh, Arizona. This is cute. This is such a cute stamp. Oh, that looks wonderful. Okay, I love that. Okay, let's work. Let's work. Oh, I didn't put these back. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. Get the glue, get the glue. Put it in the middle. Try to I try and put it in the middle anyways. <laughs> this one gotta glue this one. Pictures and everything. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Now this one over here. Right here. Oh, this one. It's been a pretty good day. We are having some nice fall weather here in New York, so I can't complain. Right now, it's really nice. Right now, it's like 60 degrees. It was 60 degrees this morning. I thought it was cold, but maybe, I don't know, maybe it was just cold in my house because when I stepped outside and started walking towards the <laughs> breakfast place, it warmed up, so I was like, yay. Okay, so, oh, that's right. Okay, so here's the stamp. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm just, like, thinking to my, myself. I forgot to unpack the thing that Rhonda gave me. Okay, so here are the four stamps that I just made right now. I can recommend this glue. It's actually pretty good. Um, Elmer's Extra Strength Glue Stick. Um, Irina sent it to me from Amazon. And um, I can say that it's really, really good. I really only use it for really light things, such as these stamps. And sometimes when I collage and I don't want to use my sewing machine, which is very rare, but it happens. Um, these are really, really cute. So let's work on some uh, bigger things that I have. Um, so let's put some papers together. I'm trying to decide which ones. I want a little bit. Well, I guess it's the same thing as these two. So let's put these two together here. 
I love working with strips. Strips are fun. Hey, Anita, how are you, girl? I'm going to use this gold here. Yeah, I love a cute gold. Okay. And so now I kind of want to keep these little pieces because I feel like I can Frankenstein it like right here. You see that? I can put this together. It's a little crazy. <laughs> It is a crazy idea here that I'm doing, but I think I can do it. See, see, it's a whole little Frankenstein piece of paper. <laughs> and I could put some lace on it. <laughs> Just keep going with all the scraps <laughs> until I have no more scraps at all. There. Yes, cat. This is a great machine. I um had a couple duds. I'm not gonna lie. I've had a couple. I'm tell everybody it's a great machine. Just get the warranty. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> okay. So there's this <laughs> little crazy little Frankenstein thing that I just made right here. And I'm trying to see if anything fits or if everything is too small, too big for it. Let me see. Oh, here's something. That kind of covers everything up, though. <laughs> that covers up that part. I might have to do a stamp. Or I don't know what I'm going to do with this. This one's a little weird. <laughs> okay. So, now I have these strips and I want to cut them up a little bit bigger. So I might get like one for a stamp and then one for another embellishment such as like this, this absinthe. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to sew this one on. Wait, not with this thread. I'm going to glue it on. The thread is a little invasive. You wouldn't be able to even see that. But for cardstock, I'd rather, I'd rather use my regular glue. So this is cardstock right here. And I feel like it warrants a little bit of a stronger glue. That's even too much glue for this little piece. Okay, so that'll go here. Okay. We got this one right here, which I do have this little one. This would look cute. Ooh, $10. If it works, hey, grab it. I use, Like I said, I, I love my sewing machine, but if I had, I think if I had just a sewing machine with just straight and zigzag, I would be okay. But of course, I'd probably be like, oh no, I want the one with the most. <laughs> Okay, so those look cute. So let's work on the next one. I could have added some lace. We'll do that to the next one. Okay, so we got those two done. Okay, so. Ooh, this one's beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, along with this would be really cute. Okay, so these two are practically the same size. So I'm actually just going to sew the whole lot strip together here. Scared out the straight down there. This is what we're working with here. <clears throat> I'm trying to 
trying to see what other options I have here. That would be pretty with this one. Okay, let's do that. So I'm just making a lot like sewing long strips together at this point right now. Shali, sorry. Hello. Do I just hurt myself? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so we got these three strips together. Sorry, I don't know why. There's yelling outside my house. Oh my god. Okay, so I have these four strips here, and I'm gonna make them a little bit wider than I did the last time. This is for things like this right here. Check this I think I'm gonna sew together. This could be like a little tuck spot or even a tiny, tiny little pocket. The tiniest little pocket you can think of. But I think I'm gonna sew this together because it's pretty big. The little pups. That's my neighbor's dog. They're like two little chihuahuas, and they're the toughest dogs in the neighborhood. <laughs> right? These papers look so good. I love it. Okay, so there's that one. Again, this could be a tiny little pocket, or it could just be a little embellishment in the corner. Let's see what we put with this one. Oh, I have this um, shoe thing, <laughs> which I'm going to make it smaller. Then again, I keep all the scraps because I keep like Frankensteining them together. <laughs> so I'm going to use that with this one. I think I'll put it off to the side a little bit like that and make it a little bit interesting. And there, keep sliding around. Okay. Over here. Daisy would stitch length and like you set. Or a zigzag. Um, uh, two and then five. If it's small, two and five. And if it's big, then I'll use three and five. I like the length a little bit wider. I like the stitches to a little bit farther apart for the straight stitch or for the zigzag stitch, actually. So, okay, so still have more of this to work with. And I have pictures I could use. I could make it for this couple right here, like a little frame. And I'm using the mini faux vintage photos from my shop. So they're actually printed on, put it on there. They are so teeny tiny. It's a pretty little Christmas uh, frame there. And then, oh, it looks like I have one of the embellishments from my shop. We can actually put him up here in the corner. He would look cute there. Oh. 
call it a day on that one. That looks cute. With a nice little corner on the side of the corner of the page with a good orbo. I'll glue that back later. Okay, so I've got the last little piece here. And then let's see what we got. I'm looking through my stash of these little tiny ephemeras. Oh, that's cute. Little mince pie. And again, I'm keeping all the little scrap pieces. Because look, I can already like kind of put them together. I'm going to... I'm crazy, but I'll keep it. <laughs> I will keep it. Okay, so let's put these together. Make a cute little frame for this. I don't have the Christmas advertisements somewhere. I just gotta, gotta get them. Bye, cat. Let's get this, this. All right, that looks cute. Okay, so now I have a bunch. Look, this is good enough for at least one book. <laughs> Come in with the. I'm just adding to my stash of embellishments before I start uh, embellishing. <laughs> okay, let's get these two together. These would be cute. Okay. One more. Not that one. Something else, not that. Let's see, maybe I'll just use a piece of lace then, since I can't find something I like. I'll just use a long piece of lace and put it here. Okay, I'll put it here. I'm just going to sew a long piece of lace onto the bottom of this. some lace and let's see what we got to use there's a little picture of holly is adorable so we'll make it the width of this and we're gonna sew all around this and mary goes this way sew this on So next, just we're just keeping it going, just keeping it going. Next we have this teeny tiny little ephemera, this little kid on, on a sled. Let me sew him on. I think it'll be okay. Some things I do feel they're too small to sew on, so I'll just glue it on. It's the size of a postage stamp, which this is, but it's not paper, it's cardstock. So, well, I mean, it is paper, but it's cardstock. Julie, hello, lady. How are you? How was your weekend, Julie? Welcome, welcome. Okay, so let's go. And that looks fabulous. Love it. 
I love it. I forgot I did print out a bunch of little images. Hang on. I have all my Christmas stuff all over here. I forgot. I had printed out a bunch of little Christmas images. Um, these are from one of my printable sets, but I printed them out on um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine pages on one. So <laughs> they are super tiny. They're actually pretty perfect for this kind of project right here. I want to use, which normally, you know, I would cut these out with my paper cutter, but just for sake of demonstration here, I'm just going to cut it out by hand. I'm just going to get a couple of the images here. Again, I did print these out on cardstock. So again, this is nine pages on one, and I can do that using the JPEG version. I believe I can also do that with the PDF version. I need to make a video on that. That'll probably be next. Okay, so, but I do have a video on how to resize it. So if you guys want to see that video, I'll link it down below. It's always relevant to the projects that I'm doing because I'm always resizing the images, the files that I work with. But that is what I love about printables, that you can use them to customize to your project, whether this is going to be, you know, in the signature or whether this is going to be an embellishment. You can choose uh, whatever size you want them to be. Okay, so then I have this. Cut off that piece. So this is going to go right here. Just going to go right here, and then we're going to sew this together. Bye, Gigi. Okay. And then this way. Oops. I, st I need to work on my stitch. My stitching. I'm trying to go straight again. It's like, uh, what am I doing? This one. Then we are going to look at this black and white image, which is adorable. Which I love. Oh my god, breakfast is so good. Oh, this place. There's this. I wish I had discovered it sooner, but there's this on my house, right by my house. And it's so good. The potatoes are so bomb. It's that's how I judge on my house how good the potatoes are. And then they give you banana bread. Oh, I got the banana bread option. So good. Like it's on the butter. Oh my god. I was like ready to go after I they gave they give you the piece of bread before you eat your food. So I was like, okay, I have my coffee, I have my little bread, let's go. Like I'm kinda done. <laughs> but of course I still had to eat my omelet. <laughs> I love omelets, you guys. Omelets are my friends. <laughs> okay, so there's this one right here, black and white. And then we got the last one, which is actually not going to fit here. Unless, unless no, it's not going to work. <laughs> I was going to say, unless I add these together, but these will not work together. Okay, so let's pick something else that that will fit them. Since I can't customize it no more. Mm, no, I don't like that. Got the buttermilk. Okay, it'll look cute with buttermilk. So let's do it with the buttermilk. Okay, so tomorrow I should be ready to get the signatures into um, the a little golden book that I was working on. That'll be tomorrow. I have to work on the signatures on the pages and, um, and put it all together and decorate. It's just that page that I was going to work on the next one and the next one. That's how my channel works. I think my stitches are messing up, but we're near the end, so I think it'll get over it soon.
<laughs> no, they're not messing up that much, but just a little bit. Okay, so let's see. Get all these little hairs out of my way because I hate threads everywhere. Oh my God. Okay, so next. Next, next. I want to use this one. And ooh, this would be cute, these two together. Really pretty. So let's do that, these two. Even a little bit. Okay, let's go. Whoops, whoops, whoops. My thread is pulling down. And I'm not centered no more. No! No! <laughs> strips plus another piece of lace so the lace will be our third strip and let's sew it together Customize <laughs> to the size of the advertisements I have in front of me. Oh, 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 right. I want to do this one. This one will look cute with this too. So we'll cut it about here. Got this little hair. Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm going to put this back to default so that the stitch is a little bit smaller. a little bit better with the with the smaller stitch just sometimes it when you're working with something little on um, the smaller stitch is better okay so now we got this got this to work with <clears throat> i'm gonna use this young lady right here she would look nice okay so we'll work with her and i'll link everything that i've been using down below um, like these little printables, black and white printables, as well as these photos and all the Christmas printables down below that are in my shop. So you guys can go check them out. you know you need new threads you get new uh scissors you can't even cut the thread uh, <laughs> i don't even know what to say right now i don't even know what to say okay so i have let's see what do i have oh this little frosty this little snowman image put them on here like a little frame Okay, this looks cute. 
Mm -hmm. I'm carding threads. That's how it works. Okay, so here we go. Next. Next. You see what I have here? That's cute. Mm, I have these little, these are kind of cute right here. Let's help these out. Teeny, teeny, tiny printed balls. Should be the last ones I get together, I think, because it's almost time. It's almost about that time. Okay, so there's that, and here's the last one. So it's teeny tiny, and these are normally in time. These are normally four per page, and they, I'm printing them out. I don't even know how many like forty per page. <laughs> Is what I'm printing them out at. Okay, so this little lady can go right here. I can just sew her on. This one. Oh, this is cute. Let's just write the write the right size for that. Or is this better? This is better. So go with bigger. That'll look adorable. bunch of <laughs> embellishments I made in this hour. I'm excited about it. This little bit of uh, work made a lot of embellishments. And I like making the strips. Of, like, one of my favorite ways to make embellishments is strips. So you guys, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I will be back tomorrow uh, for some more junk journaling fun. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, let's see what cool kids were here. I know Rhonda was here. <laughs> Rhonda was here. Let's see, Gigi, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Uh, Julie, to Kat, to Anita, Shalisar, um, let's see, uh, Emily, uh, who else was? Anita, Gigi, Judy, and let's see, Rhonda, JJ, Kat, Jasmine. <laughs> Judy, <laughs> thank you guys so, so much for joining me. And I will see you guys tomorrow, same time. Bye.